Well, right now, Cape Coral firefighters are working to contain a brush fire. It's on the west side of town, just north of Pine Island Road here near the stretch of road where El Dorado Boulevard turns into Cetus Parkway. The Florida Forest Service says it's burned about 10 acres. Firefighters have been there all night. They say sparks from a lawnmower hit a piece of barbed wire, and that is what sparked this fire. Fox 4's John Barron is live near where this fire is burning to see just how firefighters are doing now. John? Yeah, good morning. So, so far, what we know at this point in time is that we know that they have about 60% containment. That's the last check that we have from the Cape Coral Fire Department. We're learning to hear, we're waiting to actually hear a little bit more from them. But what you can see behind us right now is complete darkness, but the sky is filled with smoke. And like you just said, we're standing here just north of Pine Island, and that's where that fire actually took place. And it broke out just near an LCEC substation. And now we have the uh, Cape Coral Fire Department out here actually was along with units from Lee County. And according to the battalion chief, Chief, the most difficult part about this fire was just getting to it. He says that down trees and hurricane debris made it hard for them to actually access the fire. That's why the agencies from uh, Lee County were actually called out to actually help out. And the crews are fighting this fire on the intersection between El Dorado Boulevard and Cetus Parkway. The battalion chief says that he's trying to remind everybody of the dry conditions that we're currently facing. And he's reminding people that they should actually set a 30 foot barrier around their home as a way to protect themselves if the fire should break out once again. And he also says that they should use caution when using a fire pit or grill or when you're riding an ATV or even starting a parked car on the grass. And we'll continue to update you throughout the morning on everything that we're learning from the Cape Coral to Fire Department. We're learning to hear more from the PIO as well and what we should expect as they continue on with this containment. We'll continue to update you on air and online at fox4now.com. For now, live here in Cape Coral, John Barron, Fox 4.